लीगल टेक्नीशियंस एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स apart from the three accused whose presence at the place of occurrence was not accepted the trial court also doubted the presence of two out of the three eye witnesses the trial court further held that even pw2 the only remaining eye witness had mixed up truth with falsehood but his testimony was not liable to be discarded wholly since he had himself received injury in the same occurrence in regard to the injury the trial court came to a truly amazing conclusion the injury on the hand of ramesh was certainly in existence and it was also proved by the medical evidence the trial court resolved the contradiction by fastening the injury to ramesh to on to the appellant even though that was not the case of the prosecution the appellant was thus held guilty also of causing the knife injury to remain and came to be convicted under section 324 in addition to section 302 of the penal code under section 324 he was sentenced to rigorous imprisonment for 1 year he was also convicted under section 25 of the arms act by a separate judgment of the trial court dated february 2 1998 in sessions case number 26 of 1993 and sentenced to the period of imprisonment already undergone as under trial against the two judgments of the trial court these appeals were filed in the high court the high court by the judgment and order coming under appeal dismissed all the three appeals and the revision and thus upheld the judgments of the trial court in all aspects the senior advocate appearing for the appellant assailed the high court and the trial court judgments and contended that the appellant's conviction for the offense of murder was not sustainable both in law and on facts he submitted that th- there were at least four circumstances that falsified and completely demolished the prosecution case first there was a patent contradiction between the prosecution case and the motive assigned by it to the accused for committing the crime secondly it was undeniable that injuries were fabricated both on the person or the deceased and remains the only eye witness whose evidence was accepted by the high court according to the prosecution case there was a fierce enmity between the persons of accused party and complainant party stop